Right everyone, in this video uh, we're going to talk about certain supplements that are overlooked by sports professionals and uh, the likes of bodybuilders. So, for many years, for the last 15 years, I've had the opportunity to coach many people, uh, everything from localised sports pros to international world champions to general public and weight loss, a whole host of different clients. So, uh, Luke, my friend, is cooking background. Yeah. We're doing uh, different recipes at the moment, so we're just going to do a few product reviews right now. So I'm going to do a general overview of um, types of supplements that are overlooked by sports professionals and bodybuilders today, and then I'm going to do a quick individual uh, overview of each product. Uh, out of ten, Luke, how do you rate Udo's oil? Udo's oil, ten out of ten, bro. Ten out of ten. All day long, man. Uh, amazing. The whole variety of amigas and it's a great uh, formulation of essential fats for the body so it helps recovery helps the skin muscle a whole host of different health properties so if you haven't got this in your itinerary definitely get it um, probiotics now i'll actually suggest you look at probiotics and digestive enzymes um, what's the importance of having a healthy gut Luke? Gut health is like our second brain so you know, you want to keep your brain healthy, right? Yeah. So, you know, everything stems from gut health. Um, so energy. You know, depression and things like mind, you know, mindset issues all stem from the gut. So if you're not eating correctly, you know, that can have dramatic, dramatic effects on our mood and our depression and anxiety. So it doesn't matter what you're eating, if you cannot digest it uh, correctly and get the health benefits from the food that you're eating, it's, you, I see loads of guys shoving tons of protein shakes down their mouths each and every day and not actually eating healthy foods and then they wonder why their body becomes massively inflamed and toxic and end up with huge bloated stomachs all the time. But if you do suffer with bloatedness, if you uh, want more energy from the food that you eat, probiotics and digestive enzymes, Solgar, I definitely recommend. Oh, um, also, Omega 3, 6 and 9 by Solgar, but arguably if you're already going for the Udo's choice, you don't really need these, but I've been using these for years. Um, I also use a, a organic blend of greens. I have this most mornings. Mm. And um, I have this uh, just to help the body detox. <coughs> if I start coughing... It's the chilli, mate. It's the chilli in the background. Um, I'm doing so, a Thai green, so... Thai green curry. You can and, taste uh, the chilli, mate. I can taste it on the throat while I talk. So, Greens, we did a video earlier talking about the health properties, it's on mm. YouTube. Uh, a lot of um, health benefits, balancing the body's pH levels, uh, body's toxicity, and also improving energy and just improving life generally. Um, MCT oil, uh, coconut oil, I fast a lot, so if you do fast, um, I recommend MCT oil combined with bone broth to help with the likes of getting out of the, the fasted state. Great. And also, um, protein powders. I'm closer to the events I get, the more stricter I get on the quality of protein that I have. I actually really do rate pulsing. I don't, I don't sell it, and I'm not on commission. I just use it. So they've got two choices that I use a lot of. I've got the brown uh, rice, and I've also got the likes of the hemp protein, and it tastes. There's only one way to describe it, really, isn't it? It's, it pretty much tastes like grass. You think of it as a plant-based protein. It's yeah. easily digestible. So great for vegans, great for vegetarians. And Straight great, system. And great for bodybuilders as well if you want to get more protein release. But again, if, you, if your gut function is working really well and you're consuming healthy forms of protein, which are quick absorbable uh, forms of protein, you're going to get better results. So naturally, I definitely recommend staying away from the the high dense sugar, the really fancy popular brands which have mm. all these fancy athletes endorsing the products that they actually use because quite often they're not using drugs. Like the sucralose, aspartame, all that. Yeah, and obviously too much um, too much sucralose and aspartame. Things you don't, it, if you don't know the names of them, you never heard of them. Yeah, don't buy. Them. <laughs> and the biggest issue you've got when you eat those sort of food types, uh, especially heavy dense protein powders with lots of um, additives and preservatives, it, it's going to have a negative effect on your body and, and brain function. So, there's some supplements that I definitely recommend you look at. 
if you're already into sport, getting into sport, doing bodybuilding, whatever it is, look at these as a uh, part of your itinerary. Uh, I'm sure you've got other questions on individual products, so we're going to go through each one individually in a moment.